Inspect the cylinder casting for signs of wear or other damage. The regular scores along the piston cylinders are usual and are part of the Kel cell technology. If the nose cone bearing is to be replaced, the bearing cup should also be replaced. This is done by slackening the three bearing plate locking set screws and drifting out the bearing adjusting plate with a punch. The bearing adjusting plate and bearing cup are both light interference fits but should release readily and are easy to replace. The locking screws should remain slack at this stage. It's now time to refit the piston assemblies into the cylinders, again using a little assembly lubricant. It is important to align the holes in the piston assembly so that one hole points to the centre. This assists the priming procedure. Now we turn our attention to refitting the cam assembly into the pump housing. But before continuing, inspect the camshaft seals and if they look damaged in any way, replace them. Remove them by drifting them out from inside the pump housing. In the tool kit is a tapered protector sleeve that fits onto the shaft of the cam assembly. This protects the seals when the cam assembly is inserted into the housing. A pair of grips lightly applied to the pump shaft will keep the assembly in position. Fit the o-ring into the groove on the casing flange, if necessary using a little assembly grease to keep it in place. Then offer up the assembled cylinder casting, running it along the temporary positioning bolts from the tool kit. Be sure the holes in the housing and the cylinder casting are properly aligned. Proceed to tighten the nuts in sequence, two or three turns at a time, against the piston return springs, periodically turning the shaft in order to ensure the nose cone bearing is located properly. When the cylinder casting is in close proximity to the pump housing, turn the shaft again and the plungers will be seen moving in and out. The two casing bolts should then be replaced, remembering that the longer one should be fitted at the top as this acts as a check for installing the pump head. These bolts should be nipped up tight. There is no recommended torque load. Once the casing bolts have been refitted, the temporary positioning bolts can then be removed. 